Greetings, Internetizens! This is Ellen Melchian, playing Professor Layton and the Curious of the Witch. In the last episode, Ramon got taken. We saw him in a bag, but he came back and doesn't remember anything. There's mind wipes going on. We saw Ramon's abduction. Luke and Professor Layton are shocked to see him return. Okay, do you have any puzzles for me? Running around the village all day must tucker out even a big strong man such as yourself. But fret not, Mama Beatrice has just the cure. I'll be awaiting your return tonight with a hot meal. Oh well. Oh, I can't go back again. You probably have something? <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to St. Mister, but stay sharp. Believe you me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles before you can shout Stach and Skag for me. Stach and Skag? By now, I'm sure you've realized that you can retry the puzzles you failed to solve, eh? However, have you noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right, you see, that's the way it is with some things in life. Once they're gone, they're gone. For good. But rest it easy too. Those puzzles you thought had vanished have merely moved elsewhere. You must seek out Granny Redutu's shack. I've already been told about this. It's a strange old building, so it should be easy enough to spot. But don't get sloppy just because you know how to retry puzzles now. There's no honor in laziness. Now that you've got the lowdown on puzzles in town, let me throw a puzzle your way to keep you sharp. Okay, the local museum has an exhibit that spends nine rooms. The entrance is marked by A, the exit is marked by B, the security, is a, the security guard is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room turning as few times as possible. That is the fewest number of turns he can make. It is six here, so I assume it's... The lowest number is less than six. At least two. To we'll make a 180. What constitutes a turn? There's another door, or is it a window? I could spend all rooms so it four turns and get stuck. Dragon lines. That's two turns, but it's two sharp turns, doesn't it? Even count as one turn if it's that sharp. Luke, here's my answer. <sighs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Just like the one shown above. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. No, no, no need to thank me. Any who be seen you around. Well, who wants a desk? A bit square? The desk's neat, but needs something on top of it. This is the end. 
This is the sign. Is it the sign of the end times? Oh look, Professor, I found a hidden puzzle. That hotel? A town not far from your home recently opened the Elysia Hotel for pets. Can you guess what the room... What kind of animal is currently relaxing in the room 97? Move two matches, it's one of these. It's probably one of those three letter animals, cat or dog. I don't think I can make a G. Show me waiting. Nothing in the window. The tower is big and spooky. The door is closed. This door is also closed. This isn't opening. That's a tree. That's a fishman. Hey, professor. Looking busy as usual, yeah? Oh, I've got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you lend me your thinking cap? What do you need the, the professor's head for? What am I cutting? Six linked rings. They look like a tangled mess, but there is one that if cut away would leave the remaining five rings connected end to end in a long chain. Which one must you cut? Let's see, A is connected to B and D, B is connected to A, also C, and D is connected to, to three others, that's suspicious. C connects to E, and B. See, F is only connected to E here. E is connected to... Well, C and the D? What's this D doing? It has... All the adjacent things connected to it, I think. B... E and A That should do it. Another puzzle solved. Yeah. Examine the connections. Ah, so that's how you do it, yeah? I can finally rest at night, distinguished Bob gave me for days. Let me tell you something neat. And by neat, I mean terrifying. The thing is that I've actually seen that old man with the big sack coming out of that tower up north. I bet with dollars to donuts that he's the one behind all these disappearances. That saying is probably American. I wonder what he does up there. Wait, no, I don't even want to think about it. It's just too scary. Layton? Probably likes books better. Our look has the TV. Oh, sweet, the bookshelf. Look, might not get to read them all. 
Maybe Luca gets his own bookshelf eventually. on this wanted poster? Maybe it's not a wanted poster. There's clocks and jars and no one is working here. Everything's dusty. These candies look absolutely scrumptious, don't they? Look, those candies just gave me a splendid idea for a puzzle. Have a listen to this. You have 10 jars filled with 50 pieces of candy each, 500 total. You then pour the candy into small bags and attempt to get a half a jar in each bag. You have 20 bags of candy. What's the percentage likelihood that there are an average of 25 pieces of candy in a single sack? How do I calculate uh, the, the likelihood of there being 25, but average? Hmm. There should be an average of 25 unless you lost some. you discern what the question is saying, the problem is a rather simple one, isn't it? And that's the last dog part, right? Hmm. There we are, the little robot dog is finally assembled. Now we just have to name the rascal. I have a feeling he'll come in quite handy. By the way, look, I have a present for you to mark this occasion. Turn off your Nintendo DS and restart the game. Select bonuses. New challenge? You we'll have to save. Layton's challenge is the inventor's house has been added to our map. Now I have to name the dog. What about Gizmo? Since that's what the parts were called. <laughs> Hey there, Professor. I bet you're here to solve my puzzle. I'm right, aren't I? Hey, of course I'm right. Longest path? What? Two boys are playing a game. The goal is to take the longest route possible from point A to point B. The only rule is that no section of road can be traversed more than once. Just walk through the grass. What course should they take in order to cover the longest distance? This looks kind of long. Leaving out two. Or is this too long? That's three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, twelve. Alright, look around all of that. You can't uh, cover all the paths. All of them. I 
then to go in a circle of course Let's say more missing. There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. Nice work. Have you been outside today? If it's sunny, why not go for a nice walk? <laughs> it's winter now. It's... there's snow out. Bang up job there, professor. Even the puzzle didn't phase you, huh? Of course not, you're a pro. Yep, you're a real piece of work, prof. Are you calling him crazy? You know that? Of course you do, you're a scholar after all. And another bit of the painting. But isn't there a thing on the ground that's kinda shiny? Is it moving? What's that on the ground? It looks like a scrap of note paper. What's it say, Luke? Well, let's see here. I I'm... It's just terrible. Lady Violet has an awful case of the flu. Why is the textured? And uh, hasn't left her bed for days. I'm no doctor, so I can't think of any way to help her. What to do? What to do? Lady Violet, this is German must be talking about Baron Kleinwald's first wife. My heart is as, as heavy as I write these words. The loss of his wife is, is completely crushed the boss. If only there was something I could do to help. He walks around looking like he's had the wind knocked out of him. And that's the end. Because whoever wrote this must have cared an awful lot for the Baron and his family. Was it the butler? Hmm. Parts. Well, if it isn't Claudia out and about, and that reminds me of a puzzle. Give it a try, my boy. Weighing cats? There are three different colors of plush cats. Uh, so, the, the color of a cat denotes its weight. Is it about the stuffing or its size? Examples 1 and 2 show their relative weights. You have 3 red cats and 4 black cats on one side of the scale. On the other side of the scale there are 4 white cats and 1 black cat. Will the scale tip left, tip right or stay level? So... Here we see 4 white cats, 5 black cats, so... Supposedly... So I suppose that... I could say white cat weighs 5, 5 grams and a black cat weighs 4, which would mean this is 13, and the third weighs 13 divided by 3, that's 
33 periodical. There's three earth cats here anyway. That's 13 plus 16. 29. And this is 24. Well, here's my guess. Professor, I've solved it. You replace the white the red and white kids with black ones? Really? Is that it? Once you realize how you need to look at things, it's not a terribly difficult terribly difficult problem now, is it? Painting pieces keep piling up. Now well, this is the puzzle index. Uh, it seems to be coming out nicely. Me? What are these vile things? You oh, sun butler you are! Is the food spoiled? Or is there poison? I'm so sorry, sir! I did test sweets! Oh, he just... Wow. The very sight of them turns my stomach! Get that plate out of here at once! Oh yes, but of course! Ah, late. There you are. You requested our presence, Inspector Chelmy. My sources tell me you've been out snooping about and interfering in my case. Just what are you up to? It certainly wasn't my intention to interfere in your case. However, a few things don't make sense. Leave the investigating to the police and go chase after the golden apple or whatever it is. What if the golden apple is related to the murders? Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I'll find Simon Skeller. Of that you can be sure. Mm. Now unless you have something else to say, I've got work to do here. Understood. Good day, sir. That inspector has some nerve dismissing us like it is. Like I said before, I don't like him one bit. Mm. What do you say we go ask Ramon about yesterday, Luke? But I still want to check out the mansion. Oh. Is there something? Like a coin? There is a coin! Mr. Layton, you have some skill at solving puzzles, yes? I once cracked a case by solving a puzzle left behind on a note I found hidden in the crime scene. Let's see how you fare against it. Is this one of these upside down? A detective who was a mere days from cracking an international smuggling ring has suddenly gone missing. While inspecting his last known location, you find a note. The note appears to be nothing more than a series of numbers, but your gut instinct tells you this note will reveal the name of the crime kingpin. There are three suspects, Bill, John and Todd. Find the criminal's name? It's upside down letters. Bill is boss, he sells oil. 
What kind of oil? Crude oil? Sunflower oil? Olive oil? Maybe snake oil? <laughs> Luke, here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right, you flip the note upside down. Impressive, Mr. Layton. It seems the rumors touting your skills weren't totally unfounded. But don't go getting any ideas. Do the smart thing and leave the detective work to me. In the meantime, you can occupy yourself by searching for the golden apple. More pieces. That looks like someone's head. Which means it's upside down. Grab it and rotate it normally. Yeah, this is the corner. These things need to connect as well to the window. This is the wrong window segment. Why is the window segmented? Oh, right. Because uh, they couldn't uh, get a window pane that big, so they got multiple window panes. Wait, there's new stuff in the journal, of course. The mister the investigation has progressed. No sweets for Chelmy. And he had a few sharp words because we've been con conducting an investigation. There are other matters we need to attend. We need to check on Ramon. Do you have anything? Professor, you just simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle on my hands I just can't solve. As a man of the world, you know there's nothing good. Women find more alluring than confidence. I'm counting on you, sir. Don't doom me to an eternal bachelorhood. Maybe you should lose some weight. Been bored? The cross shape on the pinboard has 9 pins inside it and 16 outside it. Remember that example because now it's your turn to construct a shape on the board. You, can you create a cross that has 17 pins inside and 16 outside it? That's 33 in total and how many pins does this have? 49. It would mean 16 on the line? There's 24 on this line. If I make this wider, I might get 
24 again. Do I make it diagonal or something? It's exactly on the line. Besides, that's eight. That's sixteen. That's mm, that's twenty. Yeah, why the air diagonal cross? Connect all the pins. Trying to make uh, a zigzaggy line. Well, not too zigzaggy. I don't want a zigzag of the screen. It looks like 12 plus 4, that's 16. I could see the threes in the corners, that's again 12 plus 4 in the middle, 16 on the outside? Is this it? Luke, here's my answer. <sighs> Critical thinking is the key to success. This puzzle is a since you to figure out that the cross needs to be placed diagonally. <laughs> Same soul boy. With this puzzle solved, I feel I've drawn one step closer to the altar. A clock. This could be handy. There's this great workmanship. Now, oh, Lady Dahlia, do you have anything for me? Oh, Professor, how fortunate that you're here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Please, madam, ask away. I'm happy to come to your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? Though I'm not feeling up to the challenge, it won't solve itself. Is it... Mm, there's a mum? Dead. So no dead dog this, this time? The father and the son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son and says, You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age. That's pretty amazing. Must have been really young. If the father is 44 years old, how old is the mother? Hmm. Is it just one, two, and three? That makes some sense. She's just one year younger. Here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's right, the mother is 43 years old. What a relief! I can finally stop thinking about that silly puzzle. You have my thanks. Oh! What kind of painting is it? 
Is it splendid painting or something old fashioned? Or is it like robots and cartoon characters and dinosaurs fighting each other? The painting is nice, but what do I know? Oh, so incomprehensible modern art? Why incomprehensible old art? Ramon needs to be interrogated. <laughs> or at least questioned. Oh, here you are, Mr. Boatman. Good day, Ramon. How are you feeling today? Fit as a fiddle now, Professor. Perhaps even as vivacious as a violin. Oh. For fatigue from last week, seems like it never happened. As you can see, I'm bursting with energy, and my skin is as soft as a baby's. I feel like a teenager again. So awkward and uh, overflowing uh, with the unwanted emotions. Is that so? That's good to hear. He doesn't seem to remember what happened yesterday, does he? He has no idea what happened. That head is square. So what's our next move? We shall respect the inspector's wishes and leave the murder case alone. It's as Inspector Chelney said. Solving crime is the police's job. Besides, something tells me that this case and the golden apple are more related than we suspect. Yeah, I think they're murdering someone to get to the golden apple. Murdering people to get to the golden apple, yeah. That's the intuition of yours talking again, isn't it, Professor? First and foremost, we need to find a clue that will bring us closer to the golden apple. Perhaps one of Baron Leinhold's relations or close friends can help point us in the right direction. Of course, there's also someone else. Let's see if the family butler has anything to say on the subject. But I still want to explore the town a bit. Of course, I have to save. Maybe I should talk to that butler. Ramon has been mind wiped. Gotta search for the apple. Before I get murdered. So soon, Professor? Matthew, I was wondering if you knew anything that could point us in the direction of the Golden Apple. Anything you know would be a great help. For example, did the Baron say anything before he passed away? I'm sorry to disappoint you, Professor, but the Master never said anything of the sort to me. I'd very much like to help you in your search, but my duties here prevent me from leaving the grounds. If only Ingrid was around to provide some assistance. I beg your pardon, sir. Ingrid? It's been years since she left, but Ingrid used to work as a servant in the mansion. She was Flora's nurse, and she often helped me with my work. Meet you! What, why did you stop him? Yes, madam, I'll be right there. Please excuse me, sir, the lady calls. If you're curious about Ingrid, why not pay her a visit and talk to her yourself? 
Let's see, at this time of day, I'd imagine she's out walking around by the general store. Please do me a favor and tell her that Mitchell sends his regards. Certainly. I'll be sure to pass on your message. Thank you for all your help, Mitchell. Isn't it weird that sweet old lady we passed by before? Indeed, we also saw her in that picture of young Flora. Come on, let's go find the old girl. Off we go then. The general store is just outside the mansion, right? We'll be there in no time. Isn't everything here just outside the mansion? It's not a big place, this village. Lady Dahlia sure is gorgeous, ain't she? Yep, sure is. What a dish, what a doll, what a honey. Girls like that are pretty rare, I tell you. Yep, yeah. But why does she look like the previous wife? Oh, goodness me, if it isn't Mr. Um, Mr. Leibold, was it? The name's Layton, madam. That's right, Mr. Layton. What can I do for you, sir? Earlier we were talking with the butler at Reinhold Manor, and he mentioned you used to work there. We'd very much like to hear anything you might know about the Baron. Heavens me, you want to hear about the Baron? I'm afraid the only stories I have are from when I worked at the manor, and that was ages ago. That would be ideal, madam. Would you mind telling me one? Alright, well, I suppose I could tell you a bit about the Baron and his former wife. The way Master Reinhold and his wife would carry on, they almost seem to be like children. Always excited and playing... Uh, and looking at bugs. You'd never seen a man so in love as Master Reinhold was. When she passed away, Flora was all the Baron had to remember her by. So he raised the little girl with all the love a child could want. The things he'd bring home for her. Toys from all over the world and teddy bears as big as yourself. That reminds me of something from Phoenix, right? He was in high spirits in those days. He really wanted to give her two parents' worth of affection. So where has Flora gone? Your guess is as good as mine, sir. I have no clue where that girl went. She left the mansion well after I stopped working for the Reinholds. Some say Lady Dahlia put Flora on the street to keep the family riches to herself, but that's nonsense. After all, the Baron cared about Flora so much, I can't imagine that he'd allow something like that. You no, know, you just reminded me. The grave of the Baron's late wife is located in the manor garden. I wonder who takes care of it now? The Baron's former wife is buried in the garden. It might be haunted. Thank you, madam. You've been extremely helpful. Look, let's head back to the manor. I have a hunch that the grave might hold the clue we've been looking for. Okay, let's go check the grave. Oh, he's walking. And uh, there's something in the bush around it. Look, it's Matthew. Good day, Professor. Were you able to track down Ingrid? Yes, we did. In fact, we were just speaking with her. 
I mean no disrespect, but she said the grave of the Baron's last late wife lies in these grounds. Do you have any knowledge of this? Lady Violet's grave, sir? I was just about to visit myself. Would you mind if we came along to take a look? Not in the slightest, right this way. Here's the entrance, sirs. Please watch your step on the way in. This is Lady Violet's grave. Gosh, this place is really nice. It's not creepy at all. The late Baron, rest his soul, told me to keep this place in proper order, and I have tried to do so. Here sleeps Violet, my one true love. This statue looks so much like Lady Dahlia, it's hard to believe it's someone else. Back when Flora was just a tiny little thing, Lady Violet used to take her to the park in town. Some of the flowers in the garden grew from the ones Flora planted here for her mother. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Baron's journal. It should still be on the desk in Madame's room. It's possible that it might contain some information that could aid your search for the golden apple. My thanks, Mitchell. I'll be sure to give it a once-over later. Now then, it's best to head back to Reinhold Manor. So we're going to the ladies' chambers again. And let's try not to get caught. She's scared. But maybe it's just Mitsuru Kirijo's scariness. Still checking for stuff? Is this it? This must be the journal that Matthew spoke of. I have to admit, he seems to know where everything in the manor is, which makes him slightly suspicious. There's something... There's something about reading someone else's journal that just doesn't seem proper to me. However, the investigation must continue, so what if the journal is trapped? The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. What do you suppose it refers to? Flora doesn't like the thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. Was the Baron an inventor? No, someone else made the steering machine. And maybe Flora liked machines too? I'm sad to say I doubt Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. Is it Gizmo? I felt Terrible forcing the change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can never be another you. You were my first, my last, and my only. Changed its memory? I'm not sure what the Baron means, but this is clearly vital information here. I collapsed some days ago. And have been bedridden ever since. I feel as if I have failed Flora as a father. I can only hope that when I am gone, the people of the village look after Flora and care for her as I do. He must have been terribly ill. It seems I am not long for this world, and the time has come for me to say goodbye to my little Flora. 
I've left everyone in Bruno's care now. Flora, I pray you find happiness in this life. Who's Bruno again? I have disclosed the location of the secret place in a note that I've left with an old friend. So, doesn't the old friend have the apple now? It is my most fervent hope that the seeker of the golden apple finds it and grants my dearest wish. Professor! Van Reinbold's old friend. My voices, they're sleeping there. Yeah. We must seek out this person book. But Professor, how can we possibly find that person with nothing but this children to go on? Haha, <laughs> it's like I always say. Any good investigation starts on the street. We'll just have to ask everyone in town about the map. What? I mean, of course, you're absolutely right, Professor. Let's get to it. Of course, any good investigation also needs direction. Let's start out by asking Ingrid a few questions. Just running back and forth. She seems to know a great deal about Mario Just looking at the picture again. Oh, she's here. Oh, look who it is. Professor Ladle, was it? The name's Slayton, madame. Oh, that's right, Professor Layton. Oh, the talking about the mansion we did last time got me reminiscing, so I decided to stop by for a visit. But enough about me. By the look on your face, it seems that you have something you want to ask me. As a matter of fact, I do. Do you happen to know who Baron Reinhold considered his close friends? His friends, you say? Well... He wasn't exactly what you'd call a social butterfly. I'm sorry, that's really all I knew of his friends. Oh, wait a moment. I do believe I saw that it's a pony fellow pay a visit to the mansion a few times. Professor, could she be referring to that man we met? Ah, yes. The gentleman with the fancy little moustache. We should ask if he knows anything. I would wager he's still hanging about the fork in the road just beyond the clock tower. But there's still more time to explore in the front. and pens and coins and the guy are you the mayor since you've come to the town hall i strongly advise you to follow town procedure and solve this puzzle all the equations oh my it looks like someone has been writing nonsense on the blackboard again it turns out that under certain conditions, these stretch equations are actually correct. 8 minus 6 equals to... A plus 6 also equals to... What is it? Is this base 12? And removing the first... The... 
the one. I think it's base 12 uh, and uh, mod 12 or whatever. Here's my answer. I got Every it? puzzle has an answer. <laughs> it's about clocks again! This puzzle is using time as a framework for the calculations. Take 6 hours away from 8 a.m. Time becomes 2 a.m. Move forward 6 hours from 8 a.m. The time becomes 2 p.m. So I was onto something with the dwarves. Thank you, that will do nicely. Now please vacate the premises. Nothing good can be said about that tower. I heard it's all sorts of scary. You should stay away, yep. Yeah. The car? Does the car have a puzzle? Not even the Leighton mobile could make it across the river, huh? But of course, much as I adore the contraption, it is just the car after all. It's the scarf man. <laughs> if you really want to understand Saint Mister, you'll need to search the witch thoroughly. Good luck, fellows. You'll need it. She's gone. Where is she? Up doing some creepy stuff. For this time, want to rest for a minute and solve this puzzle? Which job? Two corporations have put out help wanted ads. Aside from the information below, the two companies' offers are exactly the same from a purely financial standpoint. Which one should you work for? Company A will pay you 100,000 every year and give you a 20,000 raise yearly. Company B will pay you 50,000 every 6 months and give you a 5,000 days every 6 months. So... Second year, A will give you a hundred and twenty thousand, of course, and B, it's fifty, fifty-five. Uh, 
1665. We're scaling. Scaling the ladder. Every puzzle has an answer. I'm in rising. If you actually calculate things out, you'll see that the salary for Company B will always be higher. Yeah. Oh, you did it! Okay, I guess I should give you some info as a reward. You know Lady Dahlia, right? She's planning to keep the fortune to herself once it's found. And you've been helping her all along. Don't you feel so dumb? <laughs> A plant. Okay, the nanny. Ingrid was the nanny. She's out by the store. Flora's mother is dead. The grave is pretty. There's a journal. And uh, he loved his uh, wife and his daughter. Ingrid had never heard about the apple. Kind of coming. Whoa, Emerald Hughes, he seems to like it. a large number of tiles. If you were to take these tiles and try to make a square, what is the fewest number of tiles you'd need? 10 by 12. 30? Unless... What if you stack them? Then <laughs> you need 20. <laughs> I'll try to stack the tiles. <laughs> Vertical. That should do it. Every puzzle has an answer. Yeah, realize the tiles have depth to them. Oh, come on! I was all ready to tell you the answer and everything, but now you just had to go and ruin it by answering before I said it was okay, didn't you? Didn't you? Have you ever considered the strong possibility that you might be a jerk? <laughs> you want to talk, you're always mad! Going. Oh, it's still locked shut. Just when will this place open? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The gate's covered in dust. I don't think anyone's been here for a long time. Park sign. It looks like a forest. Alright, what's in the restaurant? Obviously there's people. Hey, you two. 
You guys like chess, right? How about it? Want to sit down for a game? Uh, too many queens. It's not one of those knight puzzles, and it's number one. There's more. The queen can move the full length of the board diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. There's a catch. You must arrange the pieces so that no queen blocks another's line of movement. No, 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 no. What if I put them like this? Looking at it, visualizing the T's and the, the diagonal lines. Look, here's my answer. <sighs> Critical thinking is the key to success. Chess queen problems have been around for over a century. Very nice. You two are no amateurs, I see. Don't worry, next time I'll have an even harder puzzle for you. Nice soft chair, but doesn't one of them already have a chair? Perfect for curling up with a book. Squishy and soft. A bit angular. Look like the squares. Now for the bartender. That reminds me of this one. Meme. <laughs> or joke. <laughs> yeah, the joke was that the bart... That it's not bartender, but bart ender. Someone who ends bart. Good day, fellows! Did you ever track down Yamon? Indeed we did. Thank you for your assistance in the matter. Good to hear! Well, since you're here already, why not take a load of interest for a bit? What's this? Oh my, where did I put that measuring cup again? This is something the matter. I have 16 quarts of water that I want to divide into equal portions of 8 quarts apiece. The problem is my measuring cup seems to have grown feet again. They keep growing feet. Can you think of a way I could use these 7 and 9 quart pitchers to divide things up? Well, first thing first, split it as much as possible. Looking good, yeah. 
There we go. I might have to speed Every up a bit. Every puzzle has an answer. Let's send some code speed. Ah, genius. Now that you've done it for me, it all makes sense. I wish I had someone like you in the kitchen. Oh, I meant to mention this earlier. I heard a rumor that the kidnapper lives in the tower. You know, I've never heard anyone say anything good about the tower. Make sure you keep clear of it, okay? Flowers! But Leighton already has a plant. Pretty flowers? Exquisite! All these words of admiration. Well, I'll see. Wait, wait there's a thing. I'll see you next time.